How's it going, boys? Johnny Superb Man here, and it's finally time for us to start up our Sid Meier Civilization V Brave New World series. We just finished our Canadian Civilization about a week ago. Uh, I wanted to give myself some time so I could play this uh, new expansion through just to get my head around it, and I think I have. I'm, I know that there's a few little things that I still don't know, but that's the whole point of this series. You guys helping your fearless leader out. Okay, so we're uh, officially going to start the series right now, but I just want to let you guys know that episode one right here, uh, it's not going to be that long. You know what? I'm not going to give you a time limit, but I'm just not going to go past turn three, okay? Just because, you know, I was reading your comments and, you know, you guys coming up with, go for the diplomatic victory, go for a cultural victory, uh, domination victory, and that's all well and good, but you really can't make that decision until you see the land, the terrain, um, uh, where other civilizations are in uh, regards to yours, uh, the city state. So we got to figure out what the, the land layout for our civilization is first, do some exploring and then figure out what we're going to go after. Okay. So I just want to let you guys know that in this video, yes, it is officially episode one, but we are going to uh, take our time with this just because I want you guys to help me out here. If we're going to go after a cultural victory, because you really need to do some things early. All right. Cultural victory is a pain in the ass. Now, like the other one was a pain in the ass too, but this one's hard. It's hard. I've done it, but it, it's tough to do. So, um, yeah, let's get this started, okay? So, yeah, we got our, uh, we figured out which uh, civilization we are going to use, and it's going to be the Shoshone. Is that how you pronounce it? I think it's how you pronounce it. Shoshone or Shoshone, okay? But it's uh, Pocatello, uh, Poke, yeah, Pocatello, the Shoshone, Gray Expanse. Founded cities start with additional territory. Units receive a combat bonus when fighting within their own territory. So, great for defending your cities, okay? So that does work for a cultural victory if you guys wanted to. Um, there's some better civilizations for it, but still, it's not like you can't win it. Um, the special units are the Pathfinder, which is, I believe, the Scout unit, which is great. So we'll have that right off the beginning. I don't even think we'll have to get Warriors. We can just get all Scouts. And they're actually good for defending your land, so we can use Scouts to defend against Barbarians. So that'll be good. Save some time right there. And uh, Co Comanche Riders. I don't. That's probably Cavalry. Probably. It might it might not be. It might be something earlier. I don't know. Okay, but that's uh, a little bit farther into the game. So, the Shoshone. There you go. Now, when it comes... Oh, my, my bad. When it comes to editing everything here. Now, uh, what I got is... Hang on one second. Yeah, there you go. There you go. I just had to switch it. So, uh, I was da going down through the comments, and there was one comment with a lot of thumbs up. And uh, he was saying that my name should be the Soaring Eagle Superb Man, Righteous Leader of the Fearless Superbian Tribe. All right, I like that, but there's no way that's going to fit all in there. You see, I can only go up as far as that. So, uh, Soaring Eagle Superb Man, Righteous Leader of the Fearless Superbian Tribe. Not going to work. I mean, I can still call myself that. But um, what I'll do for you is Soaring Eagle Superb Man. Now, that won't fit either. But what we'll do is we'll do SE Superb Man. Okay? So, the SE stands for Soaring Eagle. It's not meant to be cool. It's just that I can't have anything else in there, you see? So, my name, my leader's name, your leader's name is Soaring Eagle Superb Man. <laughs> and we can add in the Righteous Leader of the Fearless Superbian Tribe afterwards. Okay? Uh, civilization name. Now, how does this work again? Uh, the civilization name is... Yes, this is like the uh, the empire of the uh, the uh, Shoshone or the uh, Shoshone lands, the Canadian civilization. That's what the civilization name is. Um, now he didn't put anything for that, so I've come up with my own names for this. We all live in the Shoshone realm, okay? We all live in the uh, Shoshone realm. So whatever borders I have, that's known as the Shoshone realm. Uh, civilization short name. Um, this I believe is like uh, the the title of uh, your civilization. So Canada, Brazil, Germany. This one's actually got a the on front of it. So the Shoshone, we'll leave that. And uh, civilization adjective, what you guys are, your Shoshones. Or your Shoshone. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Shoshone. Shoshon. Shoshone. You guys are going to have to let me know if I'm pronouncing it right. All right. But uh, yeah. So we're going to leave all that the same. So it's uh, Soaring Eagle Superb Man. Uh, righteous leader of the fearless Superbian tribe of the Shoshone realm. Um... And all the uh, Shoshone, Shoshone civilians in the Shoshone. <laughs> oh, I can't pronounce it right now. Whatever. I I'll get it. I'll get it later, okay? But there you go. So you guys can have fun with that. If you guys want to come up uh, with some uh, cooler titles or some uh, better adjectives for the country's name or your names, go ahead. We don't have to uh, come back to this. So I, I'm 
don't think it matters in the game. I don't think I can change it in the game, but I don't think it matters. So all you need to know is Soaring Eagle Superb Man, ruler of the, or leader of the uh, Shoshone realm, okay? So there you go. Jesus, that was a mouthful. All right, so... Uh, we got that taken care of. Now, the map type. I really liked the last map that we had, all right? Earth is all good. Uh, it's all well and good, but I really like the shuffle map. And I've played shuffle map a few times since then, and it's not just continents like we had before. Sometimes you get a Pangea. Sometimes you get snaky continents. Sometimes you get islands, okay? So uh, I truly do like shuffle. So I'm going to leave shuffle back on. Uh, so we got, uh, shuffle in there. Yeah. Now map size, we're going to go back to standard, what it was before. Now difficulty level, this was the big thing. Now, when we did the uh, Roman civilization, my first series, we did the prince difficulty level. And I thought it was a bit easy. You know, once you got on top of everything, they weren't catching up to you. Okay. Now King, I thought King was a really good difficulty level. I mean, yes, we won. Yes, we won in outstanding fashion. But imagine if we spawned on the same continent as the Iroquois, right? We also had earlier battles with the Greeks that could have gone other way. I thought that the King difficulty level was pretty good. Yes, we got on top of the science, but that's only because we had a really good start and we were able to take out some major cities and the Greeks took out Persia and uh, Songhai for us while we only had to deal with the, uh, what's it called? Oh man, what were they? Uh, Byzantium, right? So I thought the King difficulty level was pretty good. Yes, we won, but I thought it was it was a tough win. All right, and um, if we move up to Emperor, I don't know, man. You got Emperor, Immortal, and Deity. I mean, I could try it, but I have I I'll, I'll, I'll I can't even talk. I'll admit I haven't even tried Emperor once yet. So if I did that, I mean, it could be lost in the first you know 50 turns. So you know what? We're gonna go back to King. I really like the difficulty level for King. Okay, I feel like it's pretty even. So yeah, we'll just go back to the difficulty level for King. Okay, game pace. We're gonna go to standard. Yep. And uh, for the advanced setup, okay, so it's saying 8 civilizations, 16 city-states. I like to add in 2 more and then take out 2 uh, city-states as well, okay? I'll take out actually 4 because civilizations grow a little bit bigger. So we got 10 civilizations, 12 city-states. Now for the civilizations, I'm going to add in not all of them. But I'm going to add in a bunch of the new ones, okay? Just so you guys can all experience. And also for me, I know I haven't played them all just yet. So just give me a second here. And uh, let me grab in. You know what? I'll go from the bottom up. I'll save time that way. Uh, Ottoman Zulus. There you go. Random civilization. I forget how many there is. Like six or seven. So just give me a second here. Uh, Shoshan. No, I'm going to be them. Shoshoni, right? Shoshoni. Yeah. You guys can let me know. Let me know how, uh, how I'm supposed to uh, pronounce that. Uh, whoa, 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 there you go. I'll be the first to admit when it comes to, like, history lessons, the, uh, the Shoshone were not one of the things I learned in history class. So, completely new civilization that I don't know anything about. So, you guys can help me out if I'm pronouncing anything wrong. Uh, Japan, Aztecs, Aust was Aust no, Portugal was one, yep, there you go. There's seven. Go down here, Spain, Portugal, Iroquois, Arabia, Ethiopia, Sweden, Mongolia, India, and Indonesia, Venice, Indonesia, and Venice. Yeah, well, there's more than six. Never mind. Venice, and uh, I think that's it. I think that's it. Carthage, Persia, Russia, Poland. I already got Poland in there. Yeah, we got everything else. So we got, including myself, we got... Damn, there's nine different civilizations, okay? So we got the nine new civilizations in there, and for the 10th, we're just going to leave on random, okay? And now for also, because we got the new civilizations, I'm going to leave random personalities off, okay? So they're going to play to their strengths. Uh, quick movement, quick combat, yeah, no barbarians, no ancient ruins. Those are just things that I had on in custom games before. Uh, the time, you can't win by time. It's only science, di uh, domination, diplomacy, and cultural. Uh, yeah, it's all taken care of. Yep. Da -da -da -da. Yep. All right, so we're good to go. All right, so I think that's all. Yeah, it stays the same. Yeah. All right, so let's start our civilization with the Shoshone realm. Soaring Eagle Superb Man, okay? So here we go. Start up the game. Now, what I'm going to do, let me just turn down the, uh, the voice volume here. You guys don't need to hear that crap. Um, what I want to do is... Because I said that this video wasn't going to go too long. We're only like 10 minutes in. Um, and I know you guys are going to feel like you're getting gypped a little bit here. Because you're not actually getting much gameplay. But what I want to do is. I want to try something out here. Okay. So hang on. So there you go. Alright. So this is actually a, a nice little start. 
We are up in the tundra. It looks like we're in the uh, the northern hemisphere. Oh, it could be the southern hemisphere as well. Uh, you got some uh, crab and some fish off the coast. You got a marble resource right here. Okay. And if I found the city, there you go. That's what you get. So you got three. Yeah, that's the uh, the upgrade, right? Your bigger borders. So you got three crab resources, uh, three deer resources. Those aren't luxury resources, but they do help. Okay, you got an ancient runes down here already, and we got our scout that can move out. Okay, so this is what I want to do. This is what I want to show you guys. So I'm going to give you guys three different options on which you want to call your home, your show show your show show -ni realm. Okay, God, I'm never gonna I'm never gonna pronounce this right. Uh, so there, this is what we're gonna do. This is the first land that you guys have. All right, definitely we're in like a uh, Arctic area. Everything's a tundra, but we can also use that for religion. Right, every uh, every tundra tile could get plus one faith. So just because we're up here in the tundra doesn't mean it's bad, okay? I also like being against the coast because then you only have one direction to move. You don't have to have a 360 defense. It's only like a 180 defense, okay? So what we're going to do, I'm going to go save game, and I'm just going to call this file. Hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on now. Oh, do I delete it all? Yeah, I'll just delete it all. Whatever. Uh, show, show any number one, okay? So that's going to go as number one. Save that and just make sure it's saved. Yeah, show shown, show show me one. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is show you guys that once again, right? Now I'm gonna restart game. Now I know you guys may be thinking that, oh, this is cheap, this is cheap. You're, you're choosing your own map. I'm not choosing my own map. I'm gonna give you guys three different options and then you guys can choose the map. Remember, it doesn't matter. That's why I'm not going ahead any turns. It's not like I'm going to figure out if there's ancient ruins around me and then keep that map. I'm not moving at all. I'm just showing you guys the different land ter uh, terrains that we could start our civilization with rather than just you know going with a random, the very first one. You guys wanna live in the lands. You guys have gotta live in the land, so why not you guys choose them okay so we'll found the city here again so the second city you don't have as many luxury resources right beside it you don't have an ancient ruins but you also have more production tiles to work with you don't have the ocean tiles okay and the ocean tiles they're not as good as they used to be because of the gold uh gold has been put more into trade routes there's not as much gold from ocean tiles anymore i don't even think there is unless it's like a resource so uh yeah so here's another one not the it doesn't look like it's a lot but you got some hill resources for some production you got uh, ivory luxury resource you got the marble which is a luxury resource so you do have the plus eight for happiness or whatever uh, another hill over here you got a river going through it so some good production this is a good city for production right like you're not along the coast but you can be a superpower here uh, also kind of this might be an ocean right here i can't tell but I'm not going to, I can't move my, uh, I'm not allowed to move this guy at all, okay? That's the whole point of it. So now we're going to go and make this save file number two. All right, so move this. Show Shoni number two. Save. So let me just, yeah, they're both there. Perfect. Now, last but not least, we'll go with number three. So this is what I'm talking about, okay? So this is all we're going to do in episode number one. You guys can uh, help me out with any new titles that you want us to call ourselves, any new landmarks in the uh, three terrains that I've shown you, and also you can just choose which one we can go forward with, okay? And once we choose it, we'll stick with it. So here is the third one. Pretty nice. It's got a combination of being along the coast, but also having a lot of hill resources. And we're actually on a hill. This one's actually looking very sexy I must say uh, found the city so we found this city right here all right again you don't see any uh, ancient ruins around it but you know what this would be a very easy city to defend with the defensive awareness that we have the city is on a hill all right you really don't have to worry about a navy coming in because it's only one tile all right um, if they come from over here again you don't know if this is just an island that ends but say this connects to another continent you don't have to worry about an army coming up this way because they can only fit one unit per turn through here. The only way they could attack you is maybe by ocean if they attack here, here, and here. But that's not going to happen for like a, a thousand years or whatever. So you're only looking at, a, at an, an attack from these three tiles. One, two, three, right? You can only fit three at a time, basically. One, two, three. So this is a very defensive city. This is a, 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 nice, a nice nut that would be hard to crack. All right, for a future civilization trying to take us over. We got uh, the two luxury resources that you need. You've got your marble and you got your crab, or pearl, sorry. All right, which is plus eight. But you also have an extra crab right here that you can trade away. And then you got two uh, stone resources. And you also have three, four, because this would be part of your city as well. Yeah. 
you have four pastures. So one, two, three, and four. You could build pastures there. You could also use that for your faith, right? One plus culture for each pasture. Uh, one plus culture for the quarries or faith for the quarries. I don't know. All right. So we're going to go up here and save this as uh, Shoshone number three. Okay. So save that game. There you go. So I'll just make sure one, two, and three. All right. So that's what I mean, how it's going to be a short episode. Yeah, see the time. It actually did go north of 15 minutes. So that's why I said I didn't want to give you guys a time limit, but we're not making any moves. Okay. We simply just found the cities in three different locations, two along the coast. One is really along the coast. The other is right in the middle. And the third is kind of a nice combination. Um, if I had to choose, I would go with number three. I really like that combination of production with being along the coast. So you can still send out trade routes and also so not having to worry about civilizations, you know, attacking you. It could be that the first and second one are the best, you know, once you start doing some exploring, especially considering the first one, we know where the first ancient ruins is. And when the Pathfinder goes to an ancient ruin, I can get a, I, like the first one, I can get plus one for my population within three turns. And I can get that population up to two and then up to three within like five turns, right? This one, we don't know where an ancient rune is. Same with the second one. So you guys can go back and forth, argue um, all the benefits and negatives from all three maps, but uh, it's not me choosing the maps. It's not me being cheap, all right? I'm just providing the uh, the Shoshone, the lands that they want to be able to live in, okay? So uh, you guys go nuts in the comments, anything and everything, but, uh, but primarily, what should it be? Should it be Shoshone 1? Should it be Shoshone 2? Or should it be Shoshone 3? I will leave it up to you guys, and uh, when you guys decide, we will start up our Civilization Brave New World series, and I will see you guys there.